you put it on this nice little transition piece that I wish I still had on my food truck being rolling burritos. This is Frank Baltiers with the DIY series, how to build a food truck. And we're on the walls now installing the 304 stainless steel. It's a 20 gauge used for like restaurants, commercial applications. It's nice, it's cleanable, it's wipeable, and it's easy to take care of. So that's why I like this little piece of stainless steel. Don't forget this trailer is going to be for sale. It's a 7 by 16 trailer that we're going towards the front. And then we're waiting for the concession window. That's still on order. Uh, picking up in Ohio from JR Aluminum. So I'm excited to go out there. Actually, that was one of the best parts of the whole building of my original food truck is going out to Ohio, picking up that concession window. But with that, a couple pointers I do want to make sure that you are aware of is when you're drilling these holes, make sure that you're using your cobalt drill bit. That cuts really well with the stainless steel. And the other one is make sure that when you're drilling through the stainless steel and then you go into your plywood, don't go crazy and just like go hard at it because you're gonna go right through the trailer on the other side. And uh, I'm gonna show you guys what happened with my food truck. I did one, I didn't pierce the aluminum skin of the trailer. I was close, I was close. But my fire suppression people did. Uh, those scallywags, I'm telling you, they poked a hole right through my trailer and um, they didn't fess up to it. That's the bad part, right? I had to catch them and call them and they're, they're like, oh, it wasn't us. But it really was them because nobody else worked on the food truck besides me and them. So it is what it is. But make sure that when you're drilling these, one, you use the cobalt drill bit. Two, you space them out nice and evenly. Make sure you put enough. On mine, I just have a couple here and there. Boop, 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 boop. And I've had to add some throughout the time that I've been in existence since March 20th. I've had to add some because uh, they just kept popping out. So we had to make sure that you do it right from the beginning. And whoever gets this trailer, some high quality in here. I've put a lot of labor, sweat, and uh, I love it. I really do like, I like building cool things. So with that, let me show you guys what I did with my food truck. Make sure you guys don't do it with yours when you're drilling these holes. If you guys can see right here, I was adding um, another screw to hold my refrigerator, a bracket, an L bracket, and I drilled right in and it didn't pierce, but it did make a little divot right there. If you guys can see on the food truck, on the trailer skin, it's right there. So make sure that you don't pass through because once you do that, you're gonna have to do the following, which I had to do with my fire suppression system, which is right in the front right here. I had to add like a little patch because these guys drilled right through. So make sure that when you're drilling, you're careful and uh, you don't drill into your trailer. So with that, we're gonna continue putting a couple more screws right here, one right there, and then two more right there in the corner. And then next, we're gonna install the electrical box. And then these are my little home runs that come here. Some outlets and switches right here. And then another outlet. So sorry, this is for my exhaust fan. That's gonna get a, a box there. We're rocking and rolling. So if you have any questions when it comes to the food truck, how to build them, uh, hopefully I can give you some insight and some perspective and maybe some ideas and how to do it yourself because i believe everybody can do it themselves they have a little bit of guidance a little bit of handiness inside them you can build anything that you want so with that frank baltier is with rolling sorry i am with rolling burritos but this is my diy series how to build a food truck and uh we're just gonna keep moving with the walls